Hello, I just want to make this brief video to talk about this natural disaster uh, that we are going through in this country right now. Perhaps one of the worst natural disasters ever to hit this nation. Certainly one of the worst hurricanes to ever hit this nation. And we're talking about Hurricane Harvey, which has been stalled. As a tropical storm, it's no longer a hurricane, um, but it has been stalled over southeastern Texas and has been uh, bringing so much rain to the Houston area uh, and it is a disaster that um, is almost unheard of receiving this amount of rain. We're talking 50 inches of rain here in a matter of days over Houston and there is so much flooding going on that there are now 17,000 people out of their homes due to flooding. Uh, this will be probably worse than Katrina uh, in, in regards to the property damage. Uh, it, is, it is going to be one of the worst natural disasters that this country ever had. And what's made this storm so unusual is not that it was a Category 4 hurricane, not that it uh, formed quickly. Um, what, what's making it unusual is that it is not moving very much, and it has not moved for the past couple of days. It has been sitting over the same area, bringing heavy torrential rains to the same areas over and over and over again. And uh, I don't want to get too political here, but I think this is part of climate change. All right, and I think we need to work together now as a nation to help the people in Houston and help deal with our changing climate in regards to building up infrastructure, but as well as trying to mitigate the effects. Because as you can see, we have thousands of refugees now uh, of this disaster, and there will be more disasters like this in the coming years uh, due to uh, the crazy weather patterns. And um, while I'm, you know, kind of not in a financial position, if you are in a financial position to help the people in Houston, I urge you to help. Uh, you know, if you have extra food, please send it uh, send it to the Red Cross so they can uh, so they can help the people there. Uh, you know, uh, can you imagine if something like this would, this could happen to any of us? Uh, it could be Long Island next, you know, uh, Sandy, that was nothing. That was, that was uh, icing. That was, that was the, that was the, 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 the precursor to something much worse. Uh, this could have happened anywhere. All right. Uh, and you know, the, no, nowhere can cope with that amount of rain. Um, streets are flooded uh many neighborhoods many many neighborhoods have flooded uh you know people are continuing to be rescued we're talking thousands and thousands of rescues so far uh you know of people that are trapped in their homes as the floodwaters rise can you imagine how frightening that must be uh you know and uh you know and people you know losing their homes and there have been unfortunately some deaths and i'm sure that that death toll is going to rise this is going to be one of the worst, worst natural disasters ever to hit. And I really think that we need to come together right now as a nation. Let's put our differences aside here. Uh, rich, poor, middle class, white collar, blue collar, black, white, Hispanic. We've got to put our differences aside right now and work together to, uh, get, uh, to help these people, to help our neighbors in Houston and also help save our, our own human, human race from possibly going extinct if we don't get these climate problems under control. And what I'm asking for is, is just some common sense. You know, we've got to stop burning fossil fuels. We've got to stop doing this to our atmosphere. And we've got to put ourselves first as a country and not tolerate other countries to start ruining our climate like what China is doing. All right. Uh, I, I, I support full um, embargo almost on China where we just stop all trade from China or most of it until they decide that they're gonna stop polluting so much alright um, you know we've got to do something because Houston is a beautiful city and it's being destroyed right now alright and we're gonna lose many more of our beautiful cities due to crazy weather events like this I, I really don't want to make it too much of a political video I know there's gonna be people that are gonna disagree on this but look, all right, we are losing our country. We are losing our, uh, you know, Houston is a beautiful city. Think of all the people that are that have lost their homes due to the war. Think of all the people that uh, 
Some people have died. All the disarray, all the damage to the economy in Houston. This, this is going to make Katrina look like nothing. This is going to be so much worse than Katrina. All right, Houston is America's fourth largest city, and most of it is underwater right now. All right, so this is a serious catastrophe, and I'm glad to see our president is there. And you know, this is this is not a time to to we got to put these politics aside. We've got to come together, uh, you know, work with our president, work with our government, and, and get this country on the right track right now when it comes to helping the people of Texas and also trying to avert disasters like these in the future because we cannot afford to keep losing our beautiful cities in this country due to these horrible events. We have to do something to stop them from happening, whether that be putting ocean pumps in the ocean to cool the oceans down so we don't have these hurricanes. We've got to think of, th of out-of-the-box projects and out-of-the-box things like on that show, and you can look it up, it's called uh, uh, it was on the Discovery Channel. It was called uh, uh, Project Earth. You can Google it. It was a series about things that they could do because even if we did do cut our carbon emissions, and we are, it's not going to be enough. We need to do something to actually cool the planet down. Whether that be putting particles in the upper atmosphere to scatter the sunlight, to have less sunlight going down to the Earth, so that would cool the temperature similar to what a volcanic eruption would do, or, you know, um, uh, trying to cool down the oceans with ocean pumps to bring cool water to the surface. Uh, we also got to do something about protecting our ice caps and stopping them from melting. Uh, we've got to think outside of the box, huge projects, geoengineering projects, because if we don't do that, we are going to have more disasters like this. More disasters, more beautiful cities being ruined by these storms, and more innocent people becoming climate refugees uh, of these disasters. I, I mean, it, this is just a tragedy of epic proportions and I uh, the last thing I'm just gonna say on this is we need to come together let's put our differences aside we need to come together we if you can please help the people in Texas right now uh, they need it uh, I'm glad to see a lot of people in the new a lot of people are coming together we're putting our differences aside this is when America will rise to the occasion and come together and be united truly United States of America in helping the people of this horror, horrific disaster. Let's pray for Texas. Let's pray for Houston. Uh, help them get through this. Thank you for watching and take it easy.